Hello, phenomenal people. Happy, happy day to you. I am so glad that you stopped by. So I was wanting to bring some understanding, um, some enlightenment to a popular thing that I've heard people uh, saying. And it is God is in control. God is in control of the situation. God is in control of things. But as the caption of this video says, is God really in control? Think about this. There is a Bible verse that says, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. Now, when you stand at somebody's door and you're knocking on the door, you are waiting on somebody's reply. You are waiting for them to open up the door. If I wanted to take control and just take over, then I would bust down the door. I would get inside by any means necessary. That is taking control. However, God is saying, behold, look, pay attention. I stand at the door and I knock. That means he's waiting for your reply. When God sent Jesus, he presented him to us. God never intended for people to be robots, but to choose freely on their own. Whatever it is, whatever area it is in their life, he intended for us to choose on our own of our own free will. So God is a gentleman and he does not force himself on people. Even though he wants the best for us, he's not going to force it on us. In his word, he also says he sets before us life and death and then gives us a clue saying choose life see the key word is choose he didn't say you better choose it or you better take it you better accept this gift no he said choose life he's telling us the big clue the big thing to do choose life why because he has a plan for us because he only has goodness for us so God is going to always wait to see how you're going to and choose, how you're going to choose. He makes presentations for us. He will set something before us. He can set his best thing in front of us. He can set the best person in front of us. However, he still gives you the option to choose. And I really, truly believe that's his heart for you to choose because that's how he made you to be. So God is not a mean person. He's not a hard task master, but he is a good father. He is a good daddy. He is our awesome creator, a rewarder, a father of life, a finisher of our faith. He only has good things for us. And as much as he wants good for us and for us to lead awesome lives, he, us, he still allows us to choose so people grasp that today get a clue that he wants you to choose life he wants you to choose the best for you and that's why he wants you to be a partaker of his word that's why he wants to spend quality time with you so that he can start revealing secrets to you so that he can guide you and lead you. And that's another key word. God doesn't take over, but he guides you. 
He leads you. He directs you. And it's up to you to choose whether you're going to do it or not.